Well, I think uh, being a man in today's society is a great honor. Uh, we are called to be leaders, but we're called to be servants also. So there's a dichotomy there. And if our leadership is called control, then it's not true uh, servanthood and it's not following God's pattern. Uh, the Bible tells us to submit ourselves to one another out of reverence for Christ. So being a man is putting yourself aside and literally humbling down and serving your spouse and serving your family. And, and being a man is not apologizing for being strong in the areas where you're strong and certainly not feeling weak because you experience a desire to be nurturing and loving, maybe in a way that you've never felt before. Biblical manhood, uh, when you look at who Jesus was, he honored women, he connected with women, he had men around him, he was in relationships that were redemptive, and he had a tremendous amount of grace and understanding for broken people. To me, that's the best example of biblical manhood, Jesus. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want more faith content, click right here. And if you want to hear more from our guest, click right here. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back every Tuesday and Thursday for more content like this.